Hello. Hi, Tia. Hi, Miss Robbie. How are you? I'm good, and you? I'm wonderful. Thank you so much for making time for us. Oh, thank you for having me. No problem. So I write for Black and Mary with Kids dot okay. com, okay. and we are the largest African American marriage and parenting site on the internet. So we're a real big deal. Okay. <laughs> Yes, but I, I, I just think you're awesome. So I was so excited to have the opportunity to talk to you. Thank you, Tia. That's a blessing. Thank you. <laughs> uh huh. So I, my first question is, I wanted to know how you felt about having like the first hit show on the OWN network. Oh, my chest is big. I tell you that. <laughs> and it ain't. And it ain't my boobs either. <laughs> oh, it, it is so good. I mean, to even hear that, you know. Because when you, you participate in something, you really want it to be a success. I don't care if it's a lemonade stand, you want it to work. Mm -hmm. And for it to be the first, it was just really a blessing. And we were thankful to Oprah to even give us the opportunity. Oh, awesome. Well, I love the show. I love your family. I love your feistiness. That's what gets me motivated. <laughs> I'm like, she is no nonsense. She does not play. I'm wondering, how has being like so honest and so real and no nonsense helped you in business? Well, it's helped me because it's easy to be yourself. I mean, you know, it's not, you don't have to act, just have to be yourself. And I've always been a person that realized the truth will set you free. So I just let the, the chips fall as they may and mm -hmm. pray that I come out okay. <laughs> okay. And so far, and so far you have been, so it's working for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and then my next question are, what are the uh, benefits and then what are the challenges of working with family? Well, you know, the, the benefit is that your family is supportive of you. I mean, I couldn't do this by myself. I got my son, my sisters, and I have a real, I mean, even though we got a lot of drama, my family is there for me. They're my backbone. I know if I fail, it's all right. They're going to be there for me. If somebody don't come to work, my family's going to come in. So having that family is really, really a big part of it because I feel there's no failure in my family because they got my back. Mm -hmm. They got my I back. Got they got your back. Yeah. And then, are there any challenges that you find? Yeah, the challenge is you can't fire them. <laughs> right. <laughs> that is my, too funny. My son, especially, I love to fire him. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> you know, if I, don't, if I fire him, then I still got to help support him until he get another That's job. Right. So it's easy to keep him there. <laughs> How is the baby? The baby is our blessing. He's Aww. doing well. He's yeah. walking around. He loved doors. He liked to open doors. Oh, and does he, he? Yeah, and we got to watch him because he's real fast and he'll take off running. He's like <laughs> out of the cage and he just goes. <laughs> oh, he is too cute. Too. He is. He looks like his grandmother. Oh, of course he does. <laughs> You're fabulous. You know that. Oh, thank um, you. Why, and our audience is primarily African American, so can you tell us why it's important to support black-owned businesses? Well, because this is your business, you know, we're your people, and we need the support. I mean, mm -hmm. other races support each other, so as a black uh, person, we need to stick together. I mean, if there's a problem, if people come into my restaurant and give me constructive criticism, I mm -hmm. listen because I want to be just as successful as the next restaurant. Mm -hmm. So it's also an honor if they come to my restaurant because like I say, I tell my employees, people don't have to come to this restaurant. They pass 50 of them. So when they get here, love them, treat them right. And as a black person, I'm more inspired when my black people come in. And I have to tell you, that chicken looks so good. I'm in Chicago, but that chicken makes me want to just drive up to St. Louis when I see those shots on TV. And I'm Tia, like, oh, we. Uh -huh. Tia, that chicken is good. It looks that, like I'm going to have to take is. a trip. <laughs> <laughs> and then just a couple of more. What advice, because a lot of our writers, too, on the site, we're black women and we're trying to start our own businesses. What advice would you give to black women starting a business? You know, I, I say if you have a dream or an inspiration that you want to pursue, Go for it because, I mean, if it doesn't work, then that means that's not for you. Go keep moving. Something's going to happen. I was a singer for 50 years. I never thought I'd do anything else. I thought all my fame and fortune would come from singing, but it didn't. And always be willing to help the next person because you never know. My mom said it's, my mom had nine kids. She said it's enough for you all to support each other. If one push 
and the other if one pull and the others push you got to yeah. get to the top so everybody right. needs somebody on their side so just go for your dream you can do it it might take a long time and you might have to get through another route but go for it go for it. i love that go for and it. then why, sh why why do you want us to tune in on saturday i want you to tune in saturday because you'll see that we're not uh superstars we go to work every day we're a family we support each other we fight with each other and i'm sure everybody's got somebody like that in their family oh, and yeah. it's okay it is okay that's right and then why how the name sweetie pie pardon me how did you come up with the name sweetie pie well actually i was trying to think of something that would that you could remember easy and i just uh -huh. kept writing down things brown sugar hot potato sweetie <laughs> pies you know and everybody just kept going back to sweetie pie and then I remember people call each other sweetie pie. So, you know, it's something that, uh, is, uh, that you can relate to, being awesome. a sweetie pie. That's right. And you, you are sweet. You're a tough sweetie pie, though. Well, you know, <laughs> hey, if I don't do them, they're going to do me. So. <laughs> I know that's right. Well, thank you so much, Ms. Rob. Anything else that you want us to know that maybe I didn't ask? No, I just want everybody to tune in Saturday and All keep right. supporting sweetie pies. Will do. Thank you so much. Thank you, Tia. God bless you. God bless you, too. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.